two, one, let's go. Try to run from the switch, we catch him. Dumb ass ain't making too far. Whole lot yeah. of in the cop. I shoot to the mall. I'm in the cop with a up, trying to fuck me up. Bro, 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 bro. Gotta stick with a drum. They like, who that, who that? I'm throwing something, trying to run. Two red, two red. We start to freeze. And so it looks you right between the eyes. Jumped off the bench and I turned into a star. I'm a baller. Anywhere I go, my gang, they know who we are. You can't even see me on FaceTime. Bitch, just ask if I'm the one to DM the offense. That ain't me, bitch. That's the fake job. Give another reaction video, man. Back at it, going another banger, man. Second reaction video today, second banger today, man. It's a great day for reactions. I can't lie with y'all, man. It's currently Tuesday the twenty third. You feel me? Twelve fourteen in the in the afternoon. Twelve fourteen in the afternoon. Let's get it soon though. Top ten unsportsmanlike moments in pro sports. Crazy man. Hope you guys having a blessed day. Stay with Santos. Hope your grind last minute. I'll get to that bag. But with that bag, why don't go get it? Nobody's gonna get it for you. And that's a fact. Let's get into them, though. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting too long. Three, two, one. Let's go. These athletes broke the rules and faced the consequences. Okay. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're this. counting this, down this our picks for the top the 10 unsportsmanlike moments in sports. Oh, you hate to see this. For this list, we're focusing on displays of bad behavior, unsportsmanlike conduct, and violence Damn. during or after sporting events that simply made our jaws nah, drop. He's, the, the <laughs> pouring liquid over. What a disgraceful showing from hey, the Pistons here. Number 10, Bill Romanovsky That's and the Monday crazy. Night Football Incident. It wasn't his first altercation, and it wouldn't be his last. However, we've chosen the yeah, Monday football Night Football game where Bill Romanovsky projected bodily fluid onto an opponent. That's right. The Denver Bronco linebacker spit in J.J. Stokes' face after the San Francisco 49ers wide receiver allegedly goaded him to do it. Mm. Oh, Ooh, and there is a, a real lack of social graces on the part of uh, Romanowski in any country. That's dirty as shit. The incident also raised issues of racism since Billy is Caucasian and Stokes is African American. Spitting in the guy's face, yeah, in the guy's sense. face, does not belong on a football field. You know, it, it's inexcusable, you know. Um, I wish I could have that back. I can't, you know. Number nine, the shoe incident. Fights what are happened? pretty commonplace in hockey, but even for the rock'em sock'em playing style of the 70s, this brawl involving a Boston Bruins defenseman and New York Rangers fan was really out of the norm. Hey, oh, this could be bad. Oh, there go the Bruins. To catch a spectator who'd assaulted a player, the Bruins team leapt into the stands. They're going to pull that guy apart. But most shocking was when Mike Milbury hit the offender with his shoe, resulting in multiple player suspensions and fines. We've got a lot of peacemakers over there now. Most of the uniformed attendants are there trying to form a barricade between the Bruins and the fans. Number eight, the attack on Nancy Kerrigan. Kerrigan was at a practice session right next door hey, at Cobo wow. Arena. She was coming off the ice, getting ready to do an interview with a reporter from Pittsburgh, when all of a sudden she was attacked. While the Olympics are competitive, this went beyond anything we'd come to expect from figure skating. Why? Why? <laughs> to increase her chances at the Olympics, oh. Tanya Harding conspired to have rival Nancy Kerrigan oh. taken out of the picture. <laughs> and her nose some hard, hard black stick. Kerrigan was then unable to participate in the U.S. Damn. Figure Skating Championship, clearing the way for Harding's victory. Though both made the Olympic team, career. Harding eventually faced charges for her involvement. What a great moment for Nancy Kerrigan. Oh, Number seven, haters, man, Roberto haters. Alomar and the spitting incident. He may be one of baseball's most talented second basemen, but that doesn't mean he always kept himself in line. During a 1996 game against the Blue Jays, Roberto Alomar objected to John Hirschbeck's call by spitting in the umpire's face. Though the Baltimore yeah. Orioles player claimed Hirschbeck had made racist comments, Alomar was suspended for five games. The two eventually reconciled. Everybody made mistakes in life, and I did make a mistake, and hey, life goes on. Number six, the Boston Marathon cheater. Hey. Though Rosie Ruiz maintained she ran the Boston Marathon in its entirety for years after, it's generally accepted that the Cuban-American cheated her way to the finish line. 
The fact that Ruiz barely ah. broke a sweat and wasn't familiar with common runners' terms was just the starting point for people's suspicions. Is, is someone coaching you or advising you? Uh, no, I advise myself. <laughs> For while there wasn't any video Yo, surveillance, witness cat. reports that she took the subway and official investigations ultimately revealed the truth. Nobody hey, knew yet no. was that six months before, Rosie allegedly took a subway to the finish line of the New York what? Marathon. So this was actually her second route, That's right. and she almost pulled it off. Her big mistake was coming in first. Number five, Luis That's Suarez crazy. and the bite incident. Though the Liverpool player was charged with the racially motivated abuse of Manchester United's Patrice Evra in 2011, it's the violent conduct charge he accepted two years later that lands here. While playing a Premier League match, Luis Suarez sunk his teeth into Chelsea player Bronislav Ivanovic. Looks like he's actually sunk his gnashes in there. Instead of the... That's cannibalism, my boy. That's, that's dead-ass cannibalism. He dead bit him. What is he biting him for? That's crazy. Standard three-game ban, the Liverpool forward was forbidden from playing 10 for the serious nature of his actions. Yeah, he's crazy. I'm this not is not the first time he's bit someone in a football match. It just can't happen again. Yeah, I firmly believe this puts somebody. him in That's the last terrible. chance saloon as a Liverpool player. Number four, the Black Sox scandal. This scandal caused the so Black much Sox damage scandal. to baseball that officials banned the players involved for life. Referring to the conspiracy between eight White Sox players and pro gamblers to deliberately lose the 1919 World Series games. The way I what? figure we can't be beaten. We can only beat ourselves. You fellas know what I mean. This fixing of the MLB hey, championship no. also achieved notoriety for the alleged participation of legendary athletes like shoeless Joe Jackson. Number three. Tyson versus Holyfield 2. Here we go again. The rematch we've waited a long time to see. Mike Tyson was already seen as a wild and crazy boxer. But his 1997 off. rematch against Evander Holyfield topped anything and everything else he'd done in the ring. Yeah, that's what oh, and some ear off. nasty stuff in there. There need to be a fight almost. During the Sound and the Fury fight, that's Tyson crazy. didn't only bite his opponent on the ear once, but twice. There he bites him there. You see him lift his teeth. And Holyfield in agony at that point, trying to rip free. He was disqualified and later stated his actions were in response to Holyfield's unpenalized headbutting. I went back out there again and I caught him with good shots and he bit my ear on purpose again. Number two, Malice at the Palace. Oh, Malice right at our chest. This has potential to be serious if they don't get the toss. Oh, Though the Indiana Pacers and Detroit Man, Pistons fight began on the court, it quickly degenerated into the NBA's most infamous brawl when they took it to no the stands. Fucking our test is in the stands! No fucking After a spectator threw a drink at Ron Artest, pro b-ballers and fans began throwing punches and drinks at each other. The Pacers-Pistons brawl led to multiple player suspensions and criminal charges for several fans. Oh, what a sad scene here Damn. at the Palace. Nah, he got Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable like mentions. That. Bertuzzi goes after him and he lands on him right there and then the pile lands on Steve Moore. Looks like he's out at that point. Oh my Pedro goodness. Martinez and Don Zimmer. Don Zimmer and Pedro Martinez. And Simon's retaliation on Hallway. Nothing coach? short of shocking. A cheap shot of the highest Holy order. Simon was given bro. 10 and a game for intent to injure. To number 84, the brilliant receiver. Daryl Stingley, and then this, that collision between Tatum and Stingley. Stingley, now a paraplegic, except for some movement in the right arm. Oh, he's not oh. happy. Thinks he's being thrown at, so of course he kicked the catcher. The pitcher was blank to Daniel. He's running for cover at that point. A bench-clearing heated discussion and a no pile as well. Number one, Zinedine Zidane he headbutts Marco Materazzi. Oh. Wow. It was during France's return. There's no way his head is that hard that he falls to the ground like that. I'm sorry. He just headbutted him in his chest and acted like he just took a foot to the chest. Like what? Turn to the 2006 World Cup finals when seemingly out of Fucking nowhere, actors, Zinedine man. Zidane used his noggin to hit Marco Materazzi in the chest. He must have said something because he comes back and nails him like Ain't that. No wow. Zidane was sent off the pitch and Italy won the game in the shootout.
it was later revealed That's that tough. the Italian player had taunted and insulted Zidane. While this kind of behavior wouldn't necessarily be considered the craziest reaction nah, in a normal game, stupid. the fact that it occurred during the world's biggest game and on the biggest stage lands it on top. So this World Cup final has taken a nasty turn. Madarov and Zidane have been going at it throughout the match. Do you agree with our bucket. list? What do you think is the most unsportsmanlike moment in... Man, that's fire. I ain't gonna lie. They, they pretty much covered covered the basics. Those those are the most craziest unsportsmanlike moments in pro sports. Man, y'all know how I like the reaction. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification button, man. As always, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace and love. We need out.